What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. Oh, man. Fresh day of recording. After taking Radon down, I uh, took care of the editing and then went to bed. But I think that was a good in-between, you know? Because, like, I couldn't just do a two-hour-long video. Um, but a shorter video that shows a compilation of just death after death after death. I'm hoping y'all enjoy that. Because that that is a lot of editing work to go through two hours and find all those deaths. Uh, but anyway. So... We're gonna, like, we need to get started with this zone, but before that, there are a couple things I wanted to, to do. Uh, and I need to check. Are they under key items? Oh, I have four. All right, we can definitely do it. So, um, the first thing, when we saw, I, I, I rewatched the video of where that star fell and how Dube was like, you know, I'll meet you there. Um, well, here's one. The, it fell by an Erd tree. I don't know what Erd tree. It might be this Erd tree. Because it looked like it fell kind of up a cliff. So we're going to check that. And then we're going to check that. We're basically going to go around and we're going to check all the all the Erd trees. And I'm going to see if I can find where that star fell. To uh, discover where that quest chain continues. And then once I have discovered that. There's a root. Um... There's some, some uh, stone sword things that I want to take on, too. Uh, I, I started working on the game on console to get the... Because, you know, I wanna, don't want to review both versions. Um, and I remember there's that fog gate at the very start of the game. I want to check that. And then there was one more by the Belfries that we didn't do. That's a whole horde of dudes. Well, I'm guessing you probably point to a dungeon that's right down below, let me guess. Oh yeah, just below, like literally just below. Uh, how do we get down there though? That's a lot of pots. Look at the map. Hmm. And I see some archer dudes. Oh, I know that. I'm, I'm, I'm intimately familiar with that place. That's, uh... Dude, I'm sneaking up behind him. That is where, uh... The PvP went down. Does that go around? No, it does not. So I don't get it from that angle. Which means it has to be from over here. I don't think this is it, but, I mean, we're, we're right here. I might as well... Check out this Erd tree. I mean, I might be able to Skyrim my way down these roots. Not by the blood stain though, that doesn't make me feel confident in the slightest. What is that? Is that just the yeah, that's the church. Oh yeah, no, I could just go right here. And go on down. Minor Erd tree. Calm down, buddy. Whoa, you're getting a little uppity, aren't you? Hey, 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 hey! I don't have any, uh... Uh, these things. Ow! Oh, God. Oh, God. Rot. Just go here. And my Erd tree dude not really holding on that well. Damn. That was disappointing. I mean, we're still in, um, let me go to the last grace site because I'm still in, uh, general Radon mode. I need to redo some stuff so I uh, need my shield put that back on that's all good uh, you go back on you go on and then I usually have a bomb of some sort and then throwing knives on as well where'd they go? there they go alright we got three? seven and three? it seems like a decent split 
I mean, honestly, I'm not sure about the ancestral guy. Like, I figured he would be really good because they were super, super annoying to deal with. Um, but, you know, it just it doesn't feel like he's getting the job done. I'm, I want to give him another chance here, but he just feels kind of like, eh, you're okay. Like. Like, look at his health. He's just... Costs my whole bar. He gets obliterated. Doing 110 per shot. Flame of Frenzy! Black Flame! Yeah, we're, we're getting rid of him. He's just not that good, man. Not that good. Um, we'll go with the Ashes. Demi-Human Ashes. Demi-Humans. Oh, no, I just got these guys. I haven't tried them out either. Those are those, the Spazzy Boys. Um, Warhawk, I really like. Warhawk has great stagger. Demi-Humans seem... Green Burst Crystal Tear. And what else? Flame Shrouding Cracked. I want this, but 124. That's so much. We're going to try the Avianet Soldiers in the next encounter we have. Um, let me pull this out. Mm -mm -mm, not a lot here. Not even a lot of, like, things to pick up. Use a cracked pot. That's a couple faded flowers. Yeah, I usually get a lot more. Maybe the uh, the cracked physics thing I got is like super good or something. We got like I think three flowers and a oh that's a new toxic mushroom. All right. Well, anyway, it's clear that this this herd tree uh, has nothing. Oh yeah, there's the dungeon the guy was pointing at. Let's, um, well, oh, man, I don't know. There's so much to do. Let me, let me, maybe we can knock it out real fast. Maybe we can knock it out. Minor Erd Tree. I don't think we've actually found Erd Tree catacombs before, so maybe I will do this. And we can make this episode all about the Erd Trees, you know, until we find the old Necron thing. Uh, so Faith is at 30 now. Let me check spells. So you're 41. That's a pretty hefty investment. You're 33. Um, bum, bum, bum. Oh, how about you? You're 34. I do like the idea of frozen lightning spear. Let's keep doing it. I really want to start pumping my vigor up more. But oh, so we'll hit 34 faith, and then we'll we'll take vigor up much higher. I like having a faster weapon for these dudes. Um, okay, no early drop-offs. Two pathways. Um, let's go behind and then go down. What do we got on exactly? Yeah, those three are good. Wow, that looks like a trap. Oh, nice. Disgusting beasts. Man. I... Uh... Oh, I love Flame of Frenzy. Like, Flame of Frenzy has been, like, my carry spell. You know, like, 
And the thing, the thing is, is like, so it requires, you know, you gotta do, like you're built, well you're building up madness on yourself. Um, and on top of the madness, you're also, you know, it's a pretty long cast to get the full thing off. And it only really works against multiple enemies or big boys. But still, I feel like the damage on it is, is really, really good. And honestly, every time I use it and I see it do stuff like that, do I still have my thing on? I don't. Hang on. Um, it gives me flashbacks of how much I loved the few Ultra Great Sword in Dark Souls 3. And you know, I was playing the review copy and all that, and then Dark Souls 3 came out and they promptly nerfed Fugs. And I kind of felt bad, because, you know, like, I, I got to experience it at its maximum glory. And was like, yeah, you know, Fug's doing some work, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, I'm putting that back on for sure. And then I'm gonna try out... I'm gonna try out... Take you off. I'm gonna try out both of you. Now that I have more faith. Um, I hope they don't nerf it. Because, like, it's a really cool ability, and, and it definitely feels like a high-risk, high-reward type ability, because, you know, you're, you're very open. It's not just, like, you know, tossing out a quick lightning spear or anything. Your character is ah, standing there with the build-up, but it does do some chunky damage. And I have a feeling they might see that and be like, hmm, too chunky. Let's see, hope not. I won't tell FromSoft if you don't. See, is there a ladder to get up here anywhere? Looks like I get up there later, maybe. We'll find out. Alright, who do we got? One fifty eight. So the fast cast, it definitely comes out quick. I'll give it that. Eighty-eight. That's just dookie. I will say, I think I'm enjoying, um, I mean, minus, minus Radon. But I think that fight was bullshit. Part of me thinks I shouldn't have fought him. But the thing is, like, I can do everything else. I, I don't know. Oh, you're so cheeky. Like, the thing that, that threw me off with Radon is, uh... You know, like, if we, if we take a look at the map... I mean, I've done all of Limgrave. I've done all of Lyern or, uh, Lyernia. Um... You know, I made it up here. This area seemed pretty hard. I was getting like a thousand, uh, a thousand, what's it called? Runes per enemy. Those, those dudes that I was fighting at the, the top. So that seemed like, okay, this is, this is end game. But I feel like I should be over here. And the other thing that throws me off a lot is there was that one thing where the guy said like, oh, you know, the seal, uh, you know, the one, one is out, out in Limgrave and the other out west in Kaelid. So... And given we've already made it up here because we found the the secret entrance, the the tunnel entrance that the lady told us about that we came up, so we got up to the Atlas Plateau that way. Um, but you know, it's like I feel like the proper way to reach Atlas Plateau would be to fix the lift via getting the seal out here, which you know obviously that means that you were supposed to do. Kaelid before Atlas Plateau, but Kaelid just, I don't know, it's, it does not seem balanced, you know, for the, for that way? I don't remember seeing anything that way. So, I don't know, man, it's, it's weird, like, I just don't, Kaelid does not feel like a natural progression from either Lyernia or from the uh, the underground areas that I've been. So it's, you know, I don't know. I don't know what to... 
Got it. Heavy door is open. Yes, I'm aware. side. Hmm. I didn't see anywhere to drop on my way down here. I was actually, I was talking about that with some of the other people I know that are working on the game early. And then the thing is, like, none of them are, are up to this part yet. Like, they've, they've seen Caleb, but they haven't, like, really tried pushing into it. So I don't know. I'm I'm really curious to see what people say at launch. You know whether they also think that Kaled is really, really overtuned, or maybe I just had like a really bad build for it. And I do not get this place. So it said a heavy door opened. And it sounded like, assuming my audio directions are correct, it sounded like it was coming from that way. I take one more look at this place. Clearly there has to be a way up there. Looks like it comes from that way. Not today, Rot. Go away. I'm not seeing it. Could it be there's a second entrance to this catacomb? Let me ride this... You're a sneaky bugger, are you? Well, you're not too sneaky for me, your elevator shenanigans. They do nothing to an experienced Souls veteran like myself. This probably leads me up to that thing I saw. Crab on the menu tonight. The catacombs have major, um, chalice dungeon vibes. I was trying to remember the word. I was like, mm, bloodborne thing. Yeah, but I, I like how, despite the, the very chalice dungeon -y feel, you know, like a lot of them have these. These things, the uh, the imps, the stone imps, um, they're all laid out very differently, which is something I appreciate a lot. Because chalice dungeons, man, I don't know, they felt so damn samey to me.
The Imp Head Wolf. Is this like a, a helmet? Head covering made from largely unaltered head of an impish golem. Is that, oh. Oh, yo, it boosts my endurance by five? Dude! For a one poise trade off? Hell yeah, I'll be Stonehead Wolfman. Pop a like. Damn, five free, five endurance on a helmet. That's nutty. Calling it now, dude. This is gonna be the meta helm. Everyone's gonna want it. Oh, a helmet that gives me five free points of stamina? Yeah, sign me right the fuck up, dude. And the stats are pretty good too. Like, comparing to helm, it's the the only we found that helm. Oh no, it's better than than uh, better than that. So yeah, the only helm it doesn't, and even then it has better uh, elemental defense compared to this, and better resistances. So slightly weaker, slightly weaker defense than the best helm we have found so far. But with five free points of stamina, I see this as a complete win. Tell you what, I'm in such a better mood now that Radon is out of the way, man. Oh god, that was... That dude was grinding my gears. And you know what? I, I'll, I'll hold true to everything I said. You know, even, uh... Hang on. You know, uh... Even in New Day. New Day, in retrospect, looking back, all that. Nah, he's still just... I don't- I don't think he was a very well-designed boss. Like, and I want- well, let me- let me- to clarify, it's not so much that the- his- his boss design, and the theme, and the arena, that's all super cool. My problem with that fight is even after, uh, you know, even after feeling like I had learned the mechanics, it still felt like that fight ultimately just came down to whether or not he decided it was time for me to die. Like, I didn't feel at all like there was ever a point in that fight where it was like, oh, okay, this is... Oh, Jesus Christ, two of these things? Uh... Cat, you come get one. Ow, oh, man, I was still setting up. Y'all bitches. Damn things. Erdtree Burial Watchdog? How about Erdtree Burial Watchdog Scepter? Oh, you've beat that as well? How about two at the same time? I mean, I don't expect much out of the dungeon bosses. They're all pretty, pretty simple. Wait, what? Why didn't it... Well, that's fucked. I wonder why it didn't just bring me to the, uh, there was a stake I saw there, I thought. Anyway, before that all went down, though, yeah, Radon, it just, like, that whole fight, it ultimately just came down to whether or not he decided that it was time to do his, uh, his Meteor of Death. And that, to me, that didn't feel good, because, like... I mean, y'all y'all saw the death montage. I think there were three... I think three deaths total uh, that were meteor. Aren't you a... One of those those statues? Did I just select the wrong thing, maybe? Um, and, you know, it just... I don't know. It just didn't feel... It didn't feel good to me. It did not feel good to me. Put this on...
Thank you, shield. Hey, hey, there's lots of demi-humans that y'all could attack instead of me, you know? We should try hitting them. God. Alright, we're going for a flame of frenzy. Double. No, no, no. Look at the other guy. Look at the other guys. Look at the other guys. Stop coming after me. Look at the other guys. lucky. Stop spamming that. What? Bro! Oh my god, look at his health. That is unbelievable. It's bugged. I definitely selected respawn me at the stake and the game said, what about no? Some bullshit, bro. back on actually these guys are fast so I just need to get some uh, flame of frenzy is what's gonna get this fight done I should have I was debating too I was like well you know I can probably if I play this smart I can probably dodge and uh, probably dodge and finish him off with uh, with my my scythe but I was concerned because the site's not that fast. It's bugged. Let me try picking last sight of grace and see if it brings me to the stake instead. I mean, if not, it just brings me to the start, which is what it was already doing anyway. Yep, same thing.
Yeah, I think I might level the demi-humans all the way up. It's just, it's a lot of dudes. And especially... Ha! Asshole. The thing is, for a caster build, like, more than, uh... You know, more than, than needing the summon to, like, do damage or anything, I just need a summon that can distract. I just need it to stay alive and keep the attention. And then I can, you know, I can take care of melting things. Damn, I probably could have killed that thing with a magic pot at the end there. Let me actually... Got like the sweet spot hit there. Scepter is the one that's almost low. a couple I was just too far back there the problem is like if it's a one-on-one -on -one, I'm pretty sure I can just beat it with melee but trying to fight two of these things from soft really seems to be a fan of the uh, more enemy better fight ideology with this game's design Writing one thing isn't enough, let's just do two. I mean, it was the same thing with the, uh, when we made our little, our side trip to the Volcano Manor. Just, here's two things to fight at once, like... Okay. Seem to really have a hard-on for the old double boss thing lately. Put it cast so I can have a shield up as well.
that's better. Pumpkin head mad ashes. Okay, that, uh, is he gonna be like super expensive? Please don't be 110. Damn. Damn. There's gotta be something that increases FP. Because 110, that's pretty prohibitive. That's really, really high up there. I mean, it's not as high as 124, but. Damn. Because I feel like he would be how I was just talking about. Um, you know, I really want a tank. A tank is like the perfect thing for a build like this. That's what we need. We need. Pumpkinhead literally has a giant stone head that blocks most physical attacks. He's the the ultimate caster summon. Uh, anyway, our thing wasn't over here. Let's go... We're gonna go check. I mean, we're already at 36 minutes. I know most of it was spent fighting those stupid double dogs, but... Let's go check the other Ur trees real fast and see if we can find the entrance to knock this. Uh... Yeah, the map hasn't changed, but this sure as shit does not look familiar. Oh, whoa, whoa, god. Almost. Uh. Uh. What the hell, bro? Was this. Oh no, look, there's like a half downward. I don't remember this. And that definitely looks like something I should remember. has some pretty big star falling from the sky and gravity manipulation vibes going on. If we can find it, we're going to save the, the whole Eternal City thing for a fresh episode, but we'll go, um, might go check out some other stuff. Go down carefully. Gargoyle head, dragon on my hand. Dude's a freak. This has got to be it. I mean, if it's not it, it's some whole new region that's been added from me uh, defeating the general. I wonder, I don't remember, like, was there any loot here before? Like, horrific grease. What's that used for? Boat's armament was sleep. Beat some people to sleep. Yep, that's it. There it is. Nakron, the Eternal City. Alright, let's get ourselves a grace. And then we'll head on out. Are you don't want to progress just
just want a grace. Is that a grace? Oh, it's an item of some sort. Rune arc. Always love a rune arc. Things do not like lightning. That looks a little too far. That looks like a, well, maybe right there. Still not a giant fan of that though. I don't really have any other options. Miyazaki's version of a Falmer. They're pale, they look blind. They've been living in darkness. Hey, someone else is running down here with a cloaky armor and a scythe. Well, that's what we wanted though. We got the grace. Um, I'm out. I don't know. Level up? No, I don't. Uh, do, 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 do. So, what did I want to do? Let's go stop. Go up. Oh, I want to go to that. I'm saving that, that uh, thing for its own episode instead. Where was it? Even knowledge? I think it's the first step. I want to see what lies behind. Nope. That's what, uh, is it. Okay, the knowledge? Oh, oh no, that's like that's the tutorial part. I don't want that. Makes sense. Cave of knowledge. This, this is what I wanted. I wanted to see what because I was thinking maybe this had to do with the Eternal City. Um, let me see if I can hit a level though, real fast. Twenty seven, damn I need like ten thousand? What do I got rune wise? It's 
four. I think I'm gonna hit the number I need. Uh, I don't know how I feel about this. The poison area? What the fuck? Is that a chariot boss? I was thinking like chariot from Dark Souls 2, not like, hey, the chariot hits you, you died. You're dead. Instant. You're dead. Fuck off. Game sure likes its instant kills. Honestly, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be real surprised. I think people are gonna be. I think I think we're gonna see a lot of people that are are pissed off in the casual audience that buy this game. Because the marketing has been, you know, there's been, there's been a lot of talk about how, oh yeah, you know, it's, has the roots of Dark Souls, but it's more approachable. Yeah, bullshit. Alright, so this thing isn't an enemy as much as it's just a... A mechanical back and forth. All right. Well, that's that's going to be a whole thing. Um. The other one I wanted to hit was over here at the four belfries. There's one belfry thing we did not take. Uh, so you are the belfry where we got our stuff from. And then we have this belfry, which sends us to the Night City and Duders, which I don't really want to try and fight him, because if I die there, I'm not getting my stuff back. Precipice of Anticipation, which makes sense because you go to the, uh... No. Was there not a thing over there? I think it was called the Church of Precipice, though. Anyway, let's see where this one goes. Hopefully it's not somewhere where I'm gonna... Lose uh, 24,000 goodies. Rumbling lands. Okay, well. Huh? Rumbling lands sounds. Oh. Oh, damn. I need an imbued sword key. Damn. I can't even do it if I want it. All I, I have the casual sword keys. Rumbling lands must be a pretty important place then. Uh, well, shit. I kind of want to do that whole fringe folk hero's grave thing. Um, we're here real fast. I want to get a level. I'm close to a level. So we're going to get that. Wrap up. I'll do the fringe folk hero's grave in the next episode. And then, uh, we'll go do Necron. Oh, wait. 20. I only 3, 3,000? No, I can probably just use it and see what happens. Mm, I need like 500 or so. I need like one, one big crow. I promise we're going to explore this area someday.
I don't want to jump down, because I know if I jump down, then all of the crows start attacking me. And they're kind of bitches. Let me go try and find... You know, here we go. This should get me, get me my levels. Zombies. All right, this is some bullshit. I'm not getting. I don't know. It, I feel like it wasn't giving me a hundred per kill. Who knows? Because I saw like three or four dying when I would do my breath. Either way, we're gonna push it to the limit. Alright. Spells, you suck. You're alright. Not, not terrible, but I think over that, I'd prefer to have this. So you are my nuke, you're my heal, you're my cleanse, you're my range. Um, bum, 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 33, I can use it soon. Do I put a dragon magic back on or fire? Maybe rejection, you never know when you just want to eat something off a cliff. All right, so let's wrap up. Um, next episode, I know it's like way at the start of the game. But I'm kind of curious to see what, uh, the whole fringe, fringe, what is it called? Fringe Folk Heroes Grave. I would be very, very surprised if there's not, like, a boss fight down there. So we're going to check that out. Uh, then we're going to do Knocker on the Eternal City. Then we're going to make our way into Kaled. So, y'all stay tuned, and I have more coming your way in a bit.